racing from the 1600 metre marker. Towards the inside, Mistral Rider is right there. The Jazz Singer, the Red Sleeves and Cap, Frankie Two Shoes, a good position. Going around them on the outside is Trump's Triumph. At this stage, Victorious Man races about three lengths off the leader. King of Samash is on the inside of horses, then Isiketo. Jurist, Roy Sykes on the outside, then Carlton Heights. Behind that one is King's Cove. And at the back is Farmyard Tractor, about eight or nine lengths off the leader. The leader is the Jazz Singer as they move towards that 700 meter region. On the inside, Mistral Rider. Back in third is Frankie Two Shoes. Trump's Triumph is on the outside. Then comes Carlton Hides. King of Samash is on the inside of that one. So Victorious Man's now only about four lengths off the leader. Then Juris Esiketo. King's Cove is the yellow cap near the rail. Farmyard Tractor and Roy Syker the last two. As they turn for home, the Jazz Singer's the leader. Down the inside, Mistral Rider, Frankie Two Shoes in the blue. Trump's Triumph is on the outside, and Victorious Man's going for a run between horses. Down the inside, King of Samash. The leader is the Jazz Singer. Victorious Man is trying to wear it down. King's Cove's running on from behind, and Frankie Two Shoes over the last 100 metres. It's Victorious Man holding on. On the outside, the Jazz Singer, and then comes Frankie Two Shoes. But Victorious Man will get it right today. Victorious Man, Frankie Two Shoes, King's Cove, and the Jazz Singer. Number five, Victorious Man, the favorite at 250, just punched out. And the Judd Pot is victorious. So wins it. Last time out was caught on the line, but he shifted around. Second position goes to number 10, Frankie Two Shoes at 310. Third position will go to King's Cove. And that's number four, it paid 150. And then number eight, the Jazz Singer, paid up at 180. Then Carlton Heights, followed further back by Farmyard Tractor, as we look at the head-on. So, victorious man, Paul Lafferty, and this one comes to challenge. And then the Jazz Singer, and Frankie Tushus could have got a crop there across the head from uh, the Jazz Singer. Just saw his head twist there, and further back in the run, King's Go. But the winner is Victorious Man, and that's number five, the favourite. And there's the photo, five, ten, four, and then number eight. Eighth and last time, Craig Peters signing off. Well, we've just seen the favourite victorious man put his best stride together today. He's come through to beat Frankie Two Shoes, and the exacta was just over 33 rand. Now, Paul, when he came to the race course and he started off his career, he had one heck of an action. He's still got it. He's got a most fabulous action. He's a beautiful moving horse. And as Lyle said, he's ridden him a few times now. And we weren't worried about going to the front or tucking him in, and Lyle said, He's really improving. He's just learning to race, and he's going to win races. And uh, he settled beautifully on this. He'll go further, even though he's out of a farm here. But uh, he's a horse who's got the ability, and he's just been placing and placing, and today put it all right. Last time he looked a little bit stiff. Yeah, I, I thought so too. And that demon Marcus, who earned about half a million rand <laughs> race yesterday, came and took a bit more from us. But I'm pleased, you know, Perry couldn't make it. He was uh, getting off the plane. Sean's made it. And, Kelly Faris here representing her dad and whose colours this run. So uh, I'm very pleased that uh, basically they're all here. Well done. Thank you. Lyle Hurtson, he's done the job on Victorious Man. Basically a winner without a penalty last time. Yes, yeah. Um, he's, a, he's a progressive horse, you know, very, very immature. Um, two starts back here at Gravel. Uh, he looked to have the race uh, in the bag after pulling and everything. And uh, he, he started to duck around from the stick and just got a bit, uh, bit green still. And... Um, he came out the next time, he got pressured the whole race uh, from horse on his inside and uh, he still plugged away and deserved to win and like you say, uh, unlucky when he shifted again from the stick. So uh, coming today I thought just keep him balanced and uh, I didn't mind leading but they put the pace on early and uh, I was quite happy with that because we've got to put him in behind and, and teach him just to settle a bit more. And uh, he came through them under the hands and won a really good race. So yeah, I think a lot of fun still to be had. Um, the more he matures, the more he re relaxes, we can get him over a trip and I think he'll win some more.
Well done. Thanks very much as well and to all the owners. Glad they could lead me in and uh, be here for the winner today. Thank you for keeping me aboard. To Mr. Lafferty and Mr. War, the whole team, well done to them. And to Avonshire, congrats. Let's get the winning connections coming through. Now, today was do or da, and he's come through and he's alive. Uh, it was a very nice race, thanks to Paul and to Lyle. Um, gave us a bit of confidence, so um, we had a tickle. Disappointed that my partner, Trevor Fauri, in specialty, was not here. Um, and um, thank you very much, but uh, great run. Dedicate this to my old man. He died 12 years ago today. So I think he was pushing those from behind as well. Super. Thank you. Well done to all the connections. The favorite five victorious man has come through to beat number 10, Frankie Two Shoes. And that's the wrap from our Grable meeting today.